Chrissy here. Can you guys introduce yourselves to our site, this guys, please? Uh, my name is Spencer. And my name's Robert. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. First off, how's Voodoo been so far? Voodoo has been for the four hours I think we've been here. Voodoo's been pretty amazing. I think we we just came in from uh, Arizona and uh, it whistle stop, came straight in, played. The important thing is we managed to find some food and we found the bar. So we're sort of hitting, I think we're three for three at the moment. So we're loving Voodoo so far. We also played our show. We also that was, yeah, that was one of the three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Which ran really well. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. That was the crowd this morning. It looked like there was a few people over there. Yeah, there were a few people. I feel that um, some people may be having the uh, Halloween hangover. Maybe weren't going to make it for a you show. You had seen Bourbon Street last night. That would definitely explain. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we probably should have gone to Bourbon Street last night. But yeah, no, so it was great. I mean, everyone was there a lot. It's, as ever. We played New Orleans once before and it was a great show then. So it's good to be back. Gonna have any time to spend the city at all, or are you taking off right after here? We have a show in Austin tomorrow, but we've been, we love New Orleans. We've been through a couple of times. You did the I proper actually, pronunciation. I came New Orleans. to my best. Yeah, I, yeah. We're adapting. You, you shouldn't have brought it up because no, now I liked it. it was good. We've been practicing. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I came through even before we played any shows just to see the city because I'm a huge fan of the city. I wanted to so I spent some time in the French Quarter, and um, yeah, we wish we could uh, spend more time, but that's the. The road is hard, the road is long, and you have to keep moving. You guys have been touring quite a bit. How do you, how do you best pass the time with all those? Well, we, it, we've had a really nice, we basically toured for about 18 months. Then we've had the last two months, uh, we've been back home writing uh, for the next record. So actually, this is really, we're feeling really fresh. Uh, probably as fresh as we've been in two years right now. We may not look it, but we're definitely feeling it. So. Uh, I'd say at the moment we're just excited to be back on the road. Yeah. Sometimes even taking that brief little hiatus off kind of can just, I don't know, recharge the batteries and do all that. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. Recharging the battle batteries, refilling yeah. the water tank. But it was the right it was the right length of time. I think we were all ready to sort of play some shows now. And we, we're looking to, we wanted to uh, try out a lot of the new material. So it's like, it, for us, this is as excited as we've been for a long time because we get to play new songs. So. Yeah, I was going to ask, I heard that you were road testing some new material. So what's the, what's the direction that you guys are going? How's the mindset going with recording? I don't know. It's never preconceived. People always do this, and then they, then the band has an answer of like we wanted to. Do I, I, you just wrote it like a book, and this is exactly how. Yeah. It is. Yes, yes, it's all going to script. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think you just the aim is to surprise yourself. So, um, yeah, we're just we're just spending a lot of time just discovering what we've learned like on the road because I guess that's what you want to put into play what you've learned up to this point and um, yeah we're just really excited we love writing and that's the only slight downside of touring is that not being able to have the headspace to be able to write music so yeah we're really happy right now you, you happy? I'm totally happy I was just trying to think if I could think of an overarching theme for the music we've written so far but I just say good. I think it's just good. So far, we can't. I wouldn't want to pigeonhole except to say it's really good. Yeah. Well, I, like I hate genres, and when an artist feels like they have to be one particular thing or another, because I think that gets boring for an artist, it gets boring for a listener. Yeah. So it's it's great that you guys can experiment and kind of do what works. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. I don't think. I think maybe we'll know what the what it's. I think it will know what it's all going to sound like together once it's all together. And right now, it. Some of the songs sound a little disparate to the others, but we'll see. We'll see when it links in. Are there any new songs that are going over particularly well with audiences? Well, since we just played it for the first time, <laughs> uh, I would say it, it really hard to tell. You know, I wouldn't want to throw anything out there. We know which ones we think are going to go over really well, and usually you get like one of them totally wrong, and we'll finish the tour and we'll be like, okay, we definitely got that song wrong. Um, but we have a couple of favorites that we it's for our, it, yeah it's just so nice to be able to change the set and sort of uh, and, and put some new things in I was always wondering like in the creative process if you do get those feelings about a song and then are ever you know completely surprised by which one of bands will gravitate towards yes yeah what happens is uh, especially when you finish an album you focus 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 you then 
kind of let it out a bit and, and people start telling you what they think about it and it, it hurts like hell because it's just so so surprising you feel like you're not in control of anything because um, you kind of are so sure because of the process you've taken that this is the song that people are going to connect with and they just kind of go no 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 this is the song it's like no that <laughs> happens every time you, a band yeah. should never pick like the, you know the choice of single and all that junk like band should uh, yeah. It's like the the label or the band will pick like this focused track, and then somebody's like, no, 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 I like track five, or at least <laughs> it's completely. Different. It's it's doubly hard for us because we're independent, so we have to second guess ourselves, and like, it's good. Yeah, I think I would say that off the last album, none of us picked either of the singles at the beginning, and so. It gives you so much creative freedom, though, to be independent. It does. It does. And uh, yeah, we take it for granted. Well, yeah. I hope we don't take it for granted, but. We, we're just completely used to it. I, I cannot imagine being in a position to sign away that artistic freedom for money. It just, to me, that seems so, yeah, so alien to to our concept of making music. We don't, yeah, we just we don't need to do that. It's mad, so we don't. <laughs> I've got nothing much to add to that. I mean, I thought that was really well put. No. You know, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what has been one of your strangest touring experiences so far? Where do you want to begin? Right. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know, someone asked this the other day, and I was like, half the weirdest stuff is just the everyday stuff of just when you're in a different city every day. Something weird will happen every day that's not like, you know, someone dying or, you know, a drum kit exploding or, you know, it's more the everyday weird stuff of adapting. Like, you know, we toured with the band who are being interviewed over there, and that was some... The, the, yeah, we're talking about you. We're talking about you, pal. You're all up in here. This is all you. Yeah, and then that guy, Hef, the drummer, don't... Yeah. Yeah, it was... Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, th I just think it's a really weird life, and... Uh, I think well, that stuff we take for granted. Royalty yeah, took us out for a crawfish boil, which, which right. we'd, we'd never done. We just, just spun into town. They were like, come over, we've got a surprise for you. And it was like the whole, the real deal, you know, like yeah. boiling in a big, was it a big uh, garbage it, can? I would like to think a cauldron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. It was good. Crawfish. Who, kind of, who knew? Yeah. Who knew? Those kind of experiences. I don't know how, how you would be able to have that experience any other way than what we're doing now where you're, you're able to just live day by day by day and, and meet people in their own cities and and, and see the stuff it's cool really cool very lucky I'm sure it's so much of a learning experience too yeah we're definitely better at touring than we used to be and uh, I think for us the one thing we always I feel like there's a story behind that no, somewhere. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just we were so green when we came over here and we were really you know yeah, we were, we were doing it ourselves, so it was like every day was learning. It's like, oh, great, so that's how you, you know, don't get taken by that promoter, and that's how you drive from A to B, and then, okay, right, and that's how you say petrol, gas. Yeah, you know, what you, about parking on the wrong side of the road? Right. That's a weird one. Yeah. See, in England, you park wherever you want. You just career across the street, and you park the wrong way, and, yeah. and, and so we were just doing it. The drive over there. Just doing what we, <laughs> Yeah. We were just doing what we knew best, and we were in, where were they? Vancouver, Vancouver. Woke yeah. up the next morning, van's gone, and we're like, it's happened, it's finally happened. It was like somebody, three shows into our first tour. Somebody is just like, just teeth the van, and, and we're, we're really, really in trouble. So, uh, yeah. but then we had the bright idea of just uh, calling, and we found that it's been towed. We're like, oh, what happened? They were like, you parked the wrong way. It's like, that's not a rule. That's no, that's not a rule. You're not right. <laughs> no. We were wrong, yeah, we were dead wrong. I know that the, the crowds here in the States have been very good for you guys. I know my friend Matt from the Rock Revival had talked to you guys back when you were in our neck of the woods in Philadelphia. And like, I remember. Yeah. He's a lovely guy. Yeah, yeah, he was like, God, their show was great, and there was so many people out, and it, it was great. You know, <laughs> Is there any areas that you haven't visited that you'd like to? Areas we haven't visited are finally getting few and far between, which is cool. I think that... We still haven't done Alaska or Hawaii, you know, the pretend states, which I'm excited to do one day. And, uh, but we're, you know, I think, you know, I think we're pretty much ticking the boxes. Like, I mean, from now it's, it's looking to sort of the rest of the, of the world is, you know, last, the last album was very much focused on the US and, um, and we're looking forward to kind of doing, yeah, to getting out to some other places, which would be fun, you know. Yeah. 
longer your plans for after Voodoo in New Orleans. So we're going to be out on the road now uh, for the next sort of three weeks. Bye guys. And uh, we go sort of, we got 15, 20 shows and, and really this is to try out the new material and also just, I think we would go crazy if we didn't go out and play. So it's kind of, yeah, we're just going to make the most of it and, you know, do what you do on the road, you know, the drinking and the driving and the, the people. Why are you? Stop. Utterly irresponsible. No. We have systems. We have systems to avoid drinking and driving. Oh, I simple. wasn't putting yeah, them together. together. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think I asked how far along you are in the process for new material. Hard to know. Hard to know when you finish. I mean, we, we've written a ton, so I feel really confident. It just depends how, how these shows go. If uh, if it all just happens really, really quickly and we're all just really enthused, we'll be we'll be done. Done by Christmas, I reckon. Yeah, I mean it's good. Kind of... Probably not. We'll probably come back. Soon though, that's very soon. Yeah, uh, I think that's ambitious. I like, I like his ambition. I like it. I've always admired that. No, we good. Did, we... we're having a moment here, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. No, we we have no time frame. Yeah, you know, we set our own sort of time frame. So, we did, what the one thing we didn't want to do was rush this this record, and and um, uh, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, the songs just go down really well every night, and we're really confident. We're just like, great. We'll just record those, and that's the album. So we'll see. It's really on. It's on you, America. Uh, you know, that's it. So being that we are a pop culture website, as I discussed, and we do focus on the positive and negatives, is there anything that you guys are really tired of or can't get enough of these days? Oh boy. <laughs> I have something. I'm not saying this is representative of the whole band, but I, I, I'm having. I, I am pretty sick of Miley Cyrus right now. She's just work, and it's working for you now. Yeah, it's just, just everywhere. Too much, and uh, and always naked. You know, kind of. She just looks. It's just. It's annoying me. I can't really tell you that there's any reason behind it, but Miley, I'm sorry. I, you're really annoying. That's what. That's my negative. Yeah. yeah. You should have a positive, probably, to counter that. Well, it would probably be Katy Perry, then, would be the positive, because Roar is probably one of the the best songs that she's ever written, just at the right time. It's amazing. I, I just saw my mind, because the album came out recently. It's just so good. And she doesn't have to take her clothes off, Miley. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a surprise. I didn't see more Miley Cyrus costumes on... Bourbon Street and Frenchman Street last night. <laughs> oh, is it? It become a Halloween costume. It's that frightening. Perez Hilton was wearing it. <laughs> that was frightening, but. <laughs> yeah. Let's throw that in there as probably another negative. Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me. I appreciate it, and hopefully we'll see you guys again in Philadelphia at some point. I hope yeah. so too. Well, Philadelphia, we will be there in a couple of weeks, so maybe we'll see you then. Yeah. Union transfer on a day in the middle of the month. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. cool.